This set of choices has two things that really stand out to me. I've got a, a semicolon in choice A, a colon in choice D. You need to know the reasons that we use those things. In most cases, we're using a semicolon to separate two complete sentences, so we can check for that. Now, the colon's a little bit more flexible. That just needs a sentence beforehand. Afterwards, we, we could have a sentence, but we don't need one. But let's just check. Do we have a sentence beforehand? Because that might determine these two first choices right away. These temporary supports, a construction system known as false work. Well, what about the supports, right? We stopped talking. These temporary supports, a construction system known as false work, were removed when the bridge was completed. So uh, it's not a complete sentence beforehand. So that gets rid of A, that gets rid of D. Now we just need to decide what's the point of the comma. Well, I can see it. The real sentence is this. These temporary supports were removed when the bridge was completed. That's the sentence. We are using a comma after supports and then another one right here before were to show that this piece in between is an extra clause. It is a definition defining the uh, temporary supports. Basically, it's in a positive here. So that's why we have the two commas is uh, this long definition kind of comes second. But basically, um, we can hear that and we know that that comma after supports is kind of starting off this extra clause. So if you're trying to test out whether we need one there, another comma at the end, just read the sentence without that piece and see how it sounds. Hopefully, it you can hear that, oh yes, this is a sentence with an interruption and the commas are necessary to separate that interruption. But still, notice, I started with A and D because those are easier, under, uh, easier punctuation marks to understand. And then when those failed, I can now make the decision of whether or not I need a comma. It's easier to do without all the cluttered other choices. So try to prioritize the rules that you're gonna test as you go through punctuation questions.